Hello! Hello, hello! We're back today with some more Pokemon. Maybe I'll finish the game today? Who knows? We're uh, currently in Area Zero. I uh, last stream... Uh, what did we do? I finished up my classes. I took my finals. I passed my finals with some difficulty. And... Uh, graduated maybe i'm not sure <laughs> got all my grades and um then i was called into area zero um i am joined by my my friends here namona and i can't turn the camera penny and arvin um and we are trying to go around to these research facilities and uh undoing a lock so we can get to professor turo who is somewhere in in here and my theory is that Professor Turo is a robot or something. Whoa. Wait, I need to go back in there. There was like a teleporter or something. I would like to try it out. Hold on, guys. Wait a second. I'm going to go back in. What is this? <gasps> Fast travel. That's very handy. Okay. Good to know. Um... But we're, we have, I found one research station. I am looking for the others. So I guess, and we can't ride Maraidon in here because he's kind of like scared, I guess. He's like hiding in his Pokeball. I almost never saw my dad in my whole life. Oh, is it time for the backstory reveal? Oh my gosh, this dialogue. Penny, shh. I was always busy with work, hardly ever home. I cooked for myself, cleaned for myself. Mabel stuff was the only one I had to talk to. Dot, dot, dot. So yeah, I don't really know him at all, even if he is my dad. I try not to think about it too much, try to just be proud, but truth is I'd rather have a dad who was there, even if he wasn't anything great. I haven't seen him for ages now, unless you count seeing him in the news forever. Used to get emails sometimes, but even those stopped. Will you please, out of blue, he tells us we have to go to Area Zero, some family, right? Oh, uh, but we're not here to judge or anything. And I'm sorry about earlier. I shouldn't have snapped at you like that. No, I was giving you a hard time. Sorry, uh... Penny. My name's Penny. You know, you're pr actually pretty nice for a little pipsqueak. Heh. <laughs> Don't call me pipsqueak, you big lunk. That's the spirit, you two. Oh my gosh. The dialogue goes by really fast. I've been trying to kind of read out the dialogue as I've been playing the game. But these, like, overworld conversations are very fast. <laughs> um, I'm sort of skipping through catching Pokemon because I kind of just want to if I can get through the story, but, uh... Ooh, a waterfall. But I will walk around to get, like, what the heck are you? What are you? What is this? Why can't I... I wish the, like, scanning function thing was better. Oh, frost moth. I don't have one of those. Let's try to get one. Um, yeah, the... I, I really enjoyed the dialogue so far. It's pretty great. I'm very curious about how this wraps up. Wide guard. Okay. I didn't know Frostmoth looked like this. For some reason, I thought it was more like... I don't know bug-looking. Bug like, I didn't realize it had eyes like that. 
Oh, I also caught a shiny uh, Corviknight last time. Accidentally. Oh, it evolves from Snom. Guess that makes sense. Frostmoth causes blizzards as it flies around with its huge, chill emanating wings. Clean meltwater, it's its favorite thing to drink. It looks very elegant. We'll name you Ice Queen. It's four three? That's like almost as tall as I am. <laughs> That's pretty scary. If I fall in there. Oh my gosh. Oh, it doesn't let me go in there. Okay. Oof. We have no map. So we're just wandering around lost, I guess. And we'll stop squatting. Uh. Rank juice. How many rank juice? All right, you. I think I got a right you last time. Yes, I did. Okay. <gasps> Chancy. I think I have a Chancy too. No, don't, don't, don't panic. We're not trying to catch you. Be calm. What are these? Jump cliffs? Have you? Oh, I don't have these? The Venomoths? Or whatever they're called? What are these? Yeah, it's Venomoth. Uh, bite. start thinking about what game I want to play in place of Pokemon. I guess I... I've started Chrono Cross, which I do want to finish, play and finish on stream. And I, I guess that takes up the slot of like long, long RPG. Oh, what was that sound? That catching sound. So excited. I've had to keep up the VODs because it's usually past my bedtime, but I want to be here for the maybe ending. Oh, hello, Jack Coral. Thank you for joining for the ending. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Glad you were able to catch the stream. Uh, I will name you Glassy. Looks like glass. I'll try to... Uh, um, also for my bedtime sake, I'm gonna uh, try to get to <laughs> try to get through the to the ending tonight in a reasonable amount of time. So trying not to do too much Pokemon battling. It's a uh, stuff that I can do off stream. So it's uh let's let's continue. I I regret to say I'm sort of just running around because <laughs> there is no map, so I cannot systematically. Um, figure out where things are, but that's, I suppose, the point of this area. Ooh, more dialogue. Last time I came to the Great Crater, I was trying to go see my dad. I got about this far, and then I got attacked by some creature I'd never seen before. Really? What kind of Pokemon was it? It wasn't even a Pokemon, more like this crazy, weird, metallic machine thing. Sure, it wasn't just a Pokemon that was more, I don't know, something than average, and it hurt Mava stuff real bad, so it's not like I just forget. Is that strong, huh? Then I really hope I get to see it. That's what I figured, you say. You're real tactless sometimes, Nimona, you know that? <laughs> She's like, what? I would really like to go face to face with a creature that injured your best friend. Whoa, a cave is here. What's in here? Perhaps a research station? Perhaps? No, just a Pokeball. Earthquake. Great. Man, this kind of cave, this would be great to see. This is like a cave. Like, if you saw this when you were a kid, you're like, this is my secret base. I'm going to set up here and live here forever. And go home for food. I 
I miss, uh, this kind of, I, I'm sort of, like, getting, like, a vibe of when, I don't know if you've ever gone camping when you were kids. Like, I used to go camping a lot as a kid because my dad was really into it, and, um, sometimes we would invite, like, uh, like, friends or, like, cousins or something, so it'd be, like, all the grown-ups or, you know, doing whatever at the campsite, and then us kids would be like, ah, oh, yeah, exploration time, and we'd be running around just like this, you know, and it was, it's probably not as grand as Area Zero, but um, I think in our minds, it, it was kind of similar. <laughs> Ooh, a sparkly tree. Does that mean a research thingy is nearby? I don't know where I'm going. Um, you know, but you'd be running in a, it, running around in a pack just like this, like climbing on rocks, trying to look for, you know, secret, secret, I don't know, holes or something. <laughs> Make, finding sticks. Trying to catch bugs and fish and stuff. This is what this reminds me of. Do I have you? Oh, I don't. I don't have a braviary. Let me try to catch one. I'm kind of wondering, am I... Hmm, maybe I should be saving my... My good Pokeballs for, uh... For whatever legendary is inevitably going to be down here. Perhaps... Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Whew. Um... Okay, after this. After this, just one more Pokemon. I will stop trying to catch things. I need to save the Pokeballs. Oops, that's not what I want to do. No! Braviary! I'm trying to imprison you forever inside a computer! Don't you want that? No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Please. I'm running out of Ultra Balls! <laughs> Am I allowed- Can I leave here to go to the store? I hope so. I, I- I think I better conserve my Ultra Balls. Hmm. For the sake of its friends, this brave warrior of the sky will not stop battling even if injured. Whoa, that's a really- Badass Pokedex entry. Valiant Pokemon. I it probably won't let me write badass, right? I'll name it bad butt. Okay, bad butt it is. I'm glad Pokemon allows me to name things with butt in the name. Okay. Let us proceed. Oh dodging Pokemon. Oh, there's a Medicham. Don't question mark me. Just passing through. Feel free to ignore us. Why are these trees like this? I'm very curious. Oh, they're like... Oh, they're like terrestrializing. There's like terrestrial residue on them. I sure hope I haven't missed anything, because it would be a pain to walk back up. I'm hoping that the scientists... The previous scientists made the uh, research centers kind of obvious. I would hope. Ah, there's another one. Here we are, number two. Research center number two. Oh, research station, I guess is what they're called. The second research station. About time, too. Okay, great. I think that means I have not missed any. <laughs> Phew! Let's... Let's head in and take a breather. I thought you'd have a bit more stamina, student council girl. Hehe. <laughs> I'm just full of surprises. That wasn't a compliment, you know. Oh my god. 
that penny, <laughs> penny, that's not a Delibird. <laughs> hey, look, a Delibird. It's good to see some nice, familiar Pokemon down here, too. Deli? Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Penny? Penny. Deh. Da -da 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 little bird! Oh gosh, it's going berserk! What the? Ah! Jojo, it's battle time! Uh, bye, Penny. Oh, I get to I get to double battle with each of my friends. Not gonna lie, I kinda as a collector of virtual pet toys, I kinda want this thing. <laughs> Iron bundle? What the frick? Are you... are you Ice-type? Oh, I'm sad the camera does not encompass double battles very well. Come on. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh, its head comes off. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's freaky. What? Who made this? Why is it just walking around? I'm sure that's fine. Yeah, perfectly normal. Seriously, what was that? Darn thing scared me half to death. It was definitely kind of mechanical looking for a Della bird, wasn't it? No kidding. Come on, let's get inside already. One more jump scare like that and I'm done for. <gasps> Another theory has popped into my mind. Well, I don't know. Well, I'll just say it. Maybe when Pokemon have been here long enough and they get like too terrestrialized, they turn into robots. And maybe that's what happened to the professor. And now he's a robot and he's too embarrassed to go back up to the human world. Because now he's a robot and he can't turn back. Well, this looks pretty much the same as the first research station. Seems like wild Pokemon don't come in here. We should be safe to catch our breath. Hey, seriously, what's with this place? That Pokemon... I've been wondering about that myself. I think that Pokemon was one of these? Huh? What's that book? Oh, Monsters of Area Zero. Oh, that's right, we've read this before. As we descended further into Area Zero, we began to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon, though we wondered if these compact, cruel beasts were indeed Pokemon at all. One of our team suffered a brutal blow from the beast and was mortally wounded. A member of the survey team captured this photograph by chance. I noticed a passing resemblance to the Pokemon known as Donphan. Its differences such as its texture and the way it moves suggest it is biologically separate to say nothing of its treads of iron. So they aren't actually Pokemon? I don't really know. What do you think, Jojo? I don't think they're regular Pokemon. <laughs> I like how my character's like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, I agree. Hmm, maybe. They definitely do look different, at least. And I've never seen any of them in a Pokedex either. I suppose the time has come for an explanation. Actually, that time was an episode ago. <laughs> Professor, some of the life forms you see now res see residing now within Area Zero are future Pokemon that lived in a distant day we have yet to see. What? What? <laughs> future Pokemon? What? That's awesome, Nimona. <laughs> please. <laughs> Have some existential dread, please. Existential dread. Oh, come on. There's no way that's possible. The Zero Lab, where I'm located, contains a time machine. It summons the future Pokemon to this place. So the thing my dad spent forever researching down here, he actually got it working? Indeed, though the cost was catastrophic. The cost? But a time machine? 
You mean you can actually travel to and from the future? It is theoretically possible to travel to the future. However, for a being such as a human, it would not be possible to return to the present. Well, that's horrifying. Dad, you... Why did you call us here to Area Zero? Arvin, uh... <gasps> if possible, I would like us to speak when we can meet face to face. It'll be easier to understand once you can see the situation for yourself. Hmm. Now then, Jojo. Please use the central panel here and disable another lock on my lab. Okay. Oh my god. Professor traveled to the future, and then he couldn't come back as a human, so he had to turn into a robot, and he came back. I bet that's what happened. Well done. Please continue your efforts at the remaining research stations. Hey, Jojo. You know that book he told me to bring? I think it's got something to do with this place. Or more like everything to do with this place. But I'm not the one he expects to fix whatever all this is. You are. I think you should be the one to carry it. I got the Violet book. Okay. A record of the expedition that the author Heath went on during the within the Great Crater of Paldea. The book has the name Turo written in it in clumsy handwriting? Clumsy handwriting? That seems like a... It's a very specific detail to describe. Clumsy, like immediately I'm like, did he have it when he was a kid? And he wrote his name as a child? Take care of it for me, okay, Jojo? I'm sorry, your dad likes me better than you. Uh, let's sleep. Just rest up. I cannot believe... <laughs> I did not see the time travel aspect coming. So, color me surprised. The crystal's power is tremendous. Their unstable output made our corporate backers fret, but the research possibility, oh, if we can harness this energy, it will open up research possibilities we'd only dreamed of. At last, paradise will be ours to create. That's, that's a line that you say when things are going well. At last, I can resume work on the Terra project. I'll move my research to the Zero Lab this month. My team will be smaller, but no matter. The strong influence of the crystals makes our experiments much more unstable. Huh. Wait, is this Turo's journals? Because he was the one that led the, the team, right? And he's, like, talking kind of differently in these journals than he is right now in his dialogue to us. I wonder what that deal is there. It can't be. It just can't. But then who... What is he concerned about? Does he not think Professor Turo is the actual Professor Turo? Hmm. Seriously, a time machine? Feels like we just stumbled into a sci-fi novel or something. I can't believe I get to battle Pokemon from a whole different era! This is incredible! I'm so glad I came here with you! Oh, Nimona. <laughs> She's just excited. She's like, a time machine? Awesome! Implications? What implications? Who cares? I get to battle cool Pokemon from the future! Oops. No Maridon, right? Okay. I guess we'll continue going down. What are your parents like, Nimona? My parents? Normal, I guess. Are you serious? Even I know about your dad. He's on the board of the Rotom Phone Company. Wait, how do you know that? Everyone knows that. He's famous. And I guess I looked into it for my own reasons, too. So Nimona's actually a pampered little princess. Ah, uh, no way, that's so not my thing. Though, yeah, I guess you could say mother and father were, like, hands off, but in a good way. My big sister will probably take over the business, so they pretty much let me do what I wanted. Wait, you call them mother and father? That is some pampered little princess stuff right there. Kalate, Penny, what, is your sam family super rich? My, my family is unbelievably annoying. Like, super overprotective, you mean? It's just my dad. He's loud and clean. He makes up weird nicknames for me, like Pen Pen. He's the most annoying guy in the world, period. Wow, that's a real downer for your dad, having his own daughter describe him like that. Don't dare take his side. Uh, Jojo, how about you? Your mother seems super nice. 
You met her? Yep, got a glimpse of an amazing sand looking sandwich she made too. Really wish I could have seen that, but it looked great. My mom is also very attractive. I remember that <laughs> from the beginning. She's very pretty. Waterfall. What in the heck is this? What are you? What is this? Masquerade? Is this a new Pokemon? It looks... This is kind of in the same category as that one rat Pokemon where it's like kind of cute but kind of scary. I can't decide. Oh no! I was gonna save my Pokeballs. I want it. No, don't Giga Drain. Stop. I need that HP. <laughs> I need it. Oh. They tried great balling it. Woohoo! Oh, it evolves in Surskit. Okay. Eyeball Pokemon. The antenna have distinctive patterns that look like eyes. When it rains, they grow heavy, making flight impossible. Oh no. Uh. Big. Big guy. Big guy. Oh, it's a female Pokemon. Well, whatever. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Masquerade. Oh, it's a flamingo. It's stuck in the rock. It's becoming one with the earth. Uh, okay, let us proceed. Are there any secrets in here? Any secrets? No, it's just a gap. See a Pokeball over here. Mild Mint. Also, Penny was like, all these Pokemon are super, are super weird. So is Raichu like a weird Pokemon in this place? Like, Giraffe Rig is like kind of scary. Like, if I saw giraffe rigs running around, I'd be like, ooh, I'm in a weird place. But Raichis are, like, fine, aren't they? Ooh, secrets? Ah, another cave. Ugh. I'm so slow with my human legs. Wait, this cave is huge, actually. Am I supposed to be in here? Whoa! Oh no, it's just like a... Like, cuts through. Oh, a diglet. Uh, lichen rock. There is something very scary over there. Oh, that's the di dian dino? I think? Dino's evolution? I will come back here later when I have more resources. There's some kind of symbol on the ground. Some kind of crop circle. Can't tell what it is. This looks like a place I might have to come back to later. Maybe? I don't think I'm supposed to be here. Oh, but yeah, I was I was thinking about um, what I should play once I'm done with Pokemon. I know I want to continue Chrono Cross, so I think I'll probably just try to play. I mean, there's also doing art streams. I should probably do more of that since this is what this Twitch. Uh, oh, I cannot go up this way. 
I have to go all the way back. Ah. Oh, I can see the pattern from up here. Um, so I guess doing more art streams or playing kind of shorter games. Like I want to play, I want to play uh, the the Yuffie D DLC for Final Fantasy VII Remake. I did start it on stream, but I did not. And I figured out a better way, I hope, of streaming from my PS5. I want to try that out. Um, and if that works out, then I also want to play Stray, which I've heard is a just a couple hours long, five hours long, something like that. Um... I don't know. Lots of lots of small games to try to play. I think so. I'll probably do that while playing through Chrono Cross. Um, I also had the. Uh, <laughs> I was watching a video of somebody playing um, Sonic Frontiers, uh, and if you have seen it or played it, then you know that there's these like Toho Ikaruga like segments in them. And then I was like, maybe I should try playing a Toho game. Because I've never played a Toho game. I don't know anything about it except that the music is awesome. And I, I actually know um, quite a bit of the music, I think. At least the like famous ones. Um, so I was like, maybe I should just try it. But I'm I'm like also a little scared because there's, there's like a billion of them. And I don't know which one I would try. <laughs> And uh, they're also very hard, is what it seems like. And I'm not very... My my endurance for hard games is not high. I don't know how long I would last, but yeah. Stray is neat. Okay. Glad glad to hear some uh, encouragement in that direction. Yeah, I heard lots of good things about it. Um, and I know it came out quite a while ago, but I, I, I do want to play it myself some someday. So... If I can get my, if my idea for streaming for my PS5 works, then uh, hopefully that'll work out. All right, another research station. Oh, he's got like a little water bottle in his backpack. Cute. Nice, we get to chill for a minute. Something's gonna jump out at us again, 100% guaranteed. <laughs> oh, Penny, such a worry wart. Huh? <gasps> what the? It's got a face underneath. Oh my gosh, Nomoto, she's like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> See? See? Wait a sec, this is just like that Titan Pokemon we saw. So it was a future Pokemon all along. Well, you've battled one of these before, Arvin? It looks seriously strong. Yeah, well, Jojo and I are old pros when it comes to Titans. Leave this to us. Mm-hmm. I don't like that its face is like that. <laughs> it doesn't seem evolutionarily advantageous. Ah. Uh. Okay. Rapid spin. All right. Done and done. See that? Victory is ours. Maybe the one we saw when we were searching out the Urban Mystica came from down here. You two got to meet one of these Pokemon before our crater get-together? Jealous! Uh, if we got things from the literal future roaming around Paldea, that's a major problem. Isn't Professor Turo doing anything to do keep them under control? How could he let this happen? Yeah, right. Because it's not like oh-so-brilliant Professor Turo ever messes up. Come on, Jojo, let's get into that research station. Mm-hmm. Let's go. 
what nuggets of lore lie within. And made it to station number three. How are we doing after all that walking and battling and whatnot? Anyone need a rest? Hmm. You feeling rough, Penny? Hmm? Oh no, it's not that. I've just been thinking ever since the professor mentioned the time machine. The Pokemon here in Area Zero came to our time from the future, right? So what about Maraidon? Isn't it pretty likely that it's also one of those future Pokemon? Oh, that's true. It's got like electric eyes, like pixel eyes. Huh. I think you're onto something. It's kind of giving off, it is kind of giving off future vibes. Even its name sounds futury. I wonder if they say that same joke for the other one. Because <laughs> Midai means future in Japanese, right? So it's sort of a, sort of a pun. I forget what the other legendary is called. Wait a sec, I totally forgot. Hey, Arvin. You had Miraidon's ball and you told us about its forms in the first place. You must know something about it, right? Ugh, you still remember that from way back? No wonder you're everybody's little star pupil. Guess I've got no choice then but to tell you what I know. That Pokemon, Maridon, that is, it was found by my dad when he was working on his time machine. I believe it would be best for me to take over the explanations at this point. Professor! Maridon, which I entrusted to Jojo, was the first Pokemon that was successfully retrieved from the future by the time machine. Seriously? Through analysis of its genetic makeup, as well as its behavioral patterns, I came to realize that what I had discovered was in fact a futuristic form of Cyclozar, the Pokemon commonly ridded in this region. Well, that makes sense, I guess. They do look alike. Many other Pokemon also came to this place from across the boundaries of time, but I was never able to bring over more than two specimens of Maridon. Koridon Kor is a Scarlet Box legendary. Ah, I'm not good enough at Japanese to know what Korai Kor is. <laughs> Maybe it also means like future or something. Huh? You mean there's another one around here somewhere? What if they're family? The other one could still be somewhere in Area Zero waiting to finally be, be re reunited with our Maridon. A heartwarming family reunion? Exactly! Imagine how thrilled they'll be if we can get the family back together after all this time! Family, huh? Yeah, that sounds nice. <laughs> oh, poor Arvin. If we could proceed, Jojo. Please disable that next lock using the central panel there. Okay! Let's do it. Lock disabled. One of the four locks is still active. Well done. Only one remains now. Please continue on to the final research station. Okay, let's heal up. Let's read some books. Our time machine research has yielded a triumph, a Pokemon from the distant future. I've named it Maridon. I was expecting one new life to treasure, but what fortune to be blessed with this gift as well. <gasps> this is Professor Turo's notes. And the one new life, is he talking about Arvin? Oh my gosh. I've successfully brought more and more future Pokemon to our time since the first one. Why would you keep doing that? <laughs> this seems bad. I'm so close to creating a world like the one in the book, a paradise where we, we three can live happily together forever. I must make it real. Ah, uh, the two professors. And Arvin. What went wrong? What went horribly wrong? What is this? These plot twists really tug at the heartstrings, don't they? Not that I'm complaining. Petty? <laughs> That's a weird thing to say. I mean, me too, I guess? But, uh, okay. You can leave any wild Pokemon up to me. I'll have him beat in no time so we can march on. If that other Pokemon really is the only family it has left in the, uh, in the world, it must want to be together again, right? 
maybe not. Maybe maybe Maridon's like you, Arvin. Maybe it's like scared or dislikes the other one. Hmm. Hmm. Things get curiouser and curiouser. Let us continue. Uh, so Maridon's a future Pokemon. No wonder no one's seen it before. Jojo, you gotta let me battle Maridon right now. Um, it still won't come out of its Pokeball. Oh, right. That was the first I heard of it coming from the future myself. It was just some weird Pokemon my dad brought home one all of a sudden one day. We all lived together at the Lighthouse Lab for a little while. And my dad made me promise to keep it a secret. I had to take care of it for him too. So that's why you knew so much about it. Yeah, but one day Maridon just went nuts against some wild Pokemon. A few of the folks living nearby ended up seeing it, so the secret was out. Once that happened, my dad took it and went back to Area Zero. Oh god, there's more of these robots. Guess it makes sense if it's a Pokemon from a different age. Yeah, if people found out, it'd be all over the news. I didn't see my dad or Maridon again after that, for ages. Looking back on it now, it seems stupid, but I felt like I'd lost my dad because of Mariadon. It was the worst feeling ever. I just hated Mariadon and everything about it, didn't even want to talk about it. Sorry for not telling you what I knew about sooner, Jojo. You should be sorry. Shoot, that's like the coolest thing ever and you didn't tell us. Yep, sure would have been great to know all that relevant info before we got here. Dang, you guys. Harsh. I played Scarlet and basically all the beats are the same, but they're from the past instead of the future. Ah, that would make sense. Okay. That would make sense. Oh, so I wonder if kor kordai means past in Japanese. Interesting, interesting. A cutscene is happening. Oh, I see the final research station. Oh my gosh, look at all these huge, gorgeous crystals. They go all the way to the bottom. Uh, there seems to be some kind of city down there. One slip and we can kiss our short lives goodbye, Penny. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll be fine. We've got flying phones. Oh, good call. Watch your step. So the professor's down there somewhere waiting for us. And that's fine. Totally fine. All right, team. Watch yourselves and let's get to the bottom of this thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this place looks unreal. Maybe there really is treasure down here, like the stories say. Yeah, this place like places like something from a whole nother world. Makes you feel like maybe you already died and went somewhere. Whoa. Is it just me or do the crystals here give off the same glow as when Pokemon terrestrialize? There's gotta be some sort of connection. Only one way to find out. Come on everybody, let's keep moving. We got to go all the way down. Mm-hmm. More nodding. Let's go. What a pretty place. Um, so I saw, yeah, there's like buildings down there, like high rises, I think. Oh my God, I've been ambushed. I've been ambushed. Um, I'll come back for you later. <laughs> I want to conserve my Pokeballs. Yeah, but there, there's definitely some kind of buildings down there, right? Unless I'm imagining things. Like, it looks kind of city-like, which is eerie. Oh my gosh, there's like singing in the background music. I am scared. The Maridon came to our age through the time machine. Then it lived here a while with the professor, along with another one of its kind? That seems to be the story. So we brought it back home, kind of. Or to its second home, at least. I guess this place should be familiar to it, sure. Aw, oh, that's great. A chance to unwind and bask in the familiarity. That doesn't exactly jive with how it's been spooked since we got here. It doesn't seem eager to come out of its ball anytime soon, either. Really? I thought it was just scared because we were so high up. Huh? Who said it was scared of heights? Dot dot dot. Given how Maridon was acting earlier, I think something bad happened to it here. Sometimes you get all shaky just seeing a place that you've got bad memories of. It was the same for me when I was being ignored by everyone in my class. Just thinking about school made me want to hide away somewhere, so I know how it feels. Aw, Penny. So maybe you got hurt down here in Area Zero, just like Mibostiff? 
We can't know for sure, but it doesn't change into its battle form anymore, right? So I think it's possible. That's so sad. We got to do something to make it feel better. And no, I'm not just saying that because I super badly want to battle Mariah on myself. Seriously? Well, at least you said it, not us. Nemona, you're kind of unbelievable. I didn't read the rest of it fast enough. Whoa, what's happening here? It's all covered in crystals. Mostly in a good way. Oh. <laughs> Mostly in a good way. Mostly. Wow, this place is so cool. Look at these shiny rocks. I love shiny rocks. Hello, fancy wig. Uh, not much. I got, I'm, this is the last research station. Uh, I learned about, there's a time machine, which is blowing my mind. I learned about Maridon being from the future and these robot Pokemon be, being from the future. And I'm starting to think that the professor is a robot also. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the robot Pokemon have appeared. Yes. Hey, Greg. Greg is also here. Hello. Welcome. I, I may be finishing Pokemon today. We shall see. Whoa, what happened? This place is a mess. It looks like something went berserk in here. Yeah, but what? Hello, children. Good, Professor, you scared us. I'm sorry. Why is everything in here all busted up? I'm sorry. Hello, children. Oh my god, what's happening? What's up? Come again? Uh, um, so, 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 sorry. Sorry. So, 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 sorry. I'm sorry. Hello, children. Hello. Hello. Oh my god, he's a robot. What the heck? Stop that. You're creeping us out. Hello, child. Children. Nin. Child. Nin. Children. Children. Initiating restart. He's a robot. He's a goddamn robot. The professor must be having some some weird connection problems or something, huh? Arvin, your dad's a robot. Well, it was definitely weird, at least. Almost like, I don't know. If he meant it as a joke, it wasn't funny. I've still got goosebumps and all. Dot, dot, dot. He's a robot. He's a robot. He's a robot. Oh my god! Let's talk to them. Looking at the damage, I have a feeling maybe some ferocious Pokemon battled here. That was... That was almost like... No, it can't be. Have you disabled the lock yet? I'm all for leaving this place as soon as we can. Wait, I want to sleep first. <laughs> Hold on while I sleep. Oh, I don't think I battled anything, actually. Oh, well. My new assistant has intellect and technical skills to rival my own. A bit rigid at times, but I've got no serious complaints. Productivity has doubled. We even brought in a second Maridon via the machine, though this one has proved aggressive. Uh-oh. Oh, they're rivals. The two Maridons are rivals, I think. I need more people, more time. That woman walked out not long after the boy was born. I need another set of hands, but could they be trusted? And how long would it take them to even understand if only there were two of me? <sighs> oh, the professor. The professor made a robot of himself. Ah, 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 hello. Can you hear me now? Please forgive my previous transmission. There seems to be some signal interference. That's not what that was. What do you mean, Arvin? Dot, dot, dot. The locks have all been disabled at last. Please make your way now to the zero lab, which lies at the very bottom of area zero. Arvin, your dad's a robot. Arvin, your dad is a robot. Holy cow. This is enticing. I agree. <laughs> I wanted a really bad what happened. 
What happens? What is what has happened here? Okay. Um let's continue. Come on, friends. There was something off about the professor just now, right? Maybe it was just a little dramatic flair to get us all jazzed for adventuring. What? That got you jazzed? Yeah, maybe even big time jazzed. You need to go see a doctor. That's just not right. Say, I'm pretty sure that call was really... Uh, never mind. It's nothing. What's wrong, Arvin? You seem kind of down. No matter how things turn out, I'm counting on you to see this through, Jojo. Ooh, a uh, platform of some kind. What is this? There's some sort of plate inscribed with a mysterious symbol. Arvin's going to run off a cliff in the background. Hmm. What does this mean? It's like a map. There's some sort of building down there. Is that the uh, Zero Lab? Here, let me grab this Pokeball. Use me, Dunsparce. Don't mind me. Ooh, there's Terra Shards all over the place here. Uh, oh, this is a dead end. Let me grab this. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. I'm scared. Robot Pokemon. Robot Professor. I'm curious about how they choose the Pokemon that appear in a region. They're like, okay, we're gonna make like this super weird future Pokemon area. What Pokemon would be here? And then there's like Dunsparce and Chansey. And this salt rock guy. And some new guys. Big crystal. It's like Final Fantasy. It's Hydaelyn. The mother crystal. This music is so eerie. This is like... I don't know. It's like refreshing, I guess. It's like it, it, it like doesn't feel like Pokemon, but I mean, it feels like Pokemon, but like also doesn't feel like Pokemon. But I guess I guess that's what makes this area seem kind of otherworldly. So so it's a good thing. And gibbles. That's your gibbles. Wait, I am not going the right direction. I have to go this way. Oh, this looks like, yeah, this building's all covered in crystal. That looks like an important place. Holy cow. Who built all this? We finally reached the deepest part. We made it! Ready to see if those legends of treasure down here are for real? Heh. <laughs> yeah, right. That's just fluff they write to fill the textbooks. Oh, we get signal down here. Hello, children. You've done well to make it here. The structure you see before you is the Zero Lab. That's where you are, right, Professor? But wait, why does it look like the whole place is being swallowed up by crystals? The crystals here in Area Zero possess a peculiar energy. This energy can alter the functions of living things and optimize the performance of machinery. Hmm. It is the same energy that allows Pokemon to terrestrialize. So this entire building's been terrestrialized? Is that what you're saying? Don't be silly, Arvin. The professor implied something important about Terra Orbs just now. They're made from the crystals down here in Area Zero, aren't they? Indeed, though not many know it. 
Since you have disabled all four locks, the gate to the Zero Lab should now open for you. But once you open the gate, you will be quickly you will quickly be confronted with the dangerous Pokemon inside. They will likely make a break for freedom. Dangerous Pokemon? With the four of you working together, you should be able to best them. Prepare yourselves well, then open the gate. Uh oh. You've got me and Jojo here. Doesn't matter what we're up against, we'll be fine. Huh, well then, that puts all my worries to rest. Okay. It's an, it sounds like it's a quadruple battle <laughs> or double battle, maybe. So I, I'm assuming I also cannot catch whatever we're going to be fighting in there. So let me um, let me save first. And then we open this. Yeah, let's go. Hold it. Huh? Why? We're finally on the cusp of getting into the lab. Look, if it's true that a bunch of really dangerous Pokemon might come at us, then shouldn't we also have Maridon help? Hmm. Yeah, if Maridon were like how we first saw it in the Inlet Grotto, Grotto that'd be... Grotto? Grotto? That'd be a huge help. I want to see a battle. Uh, but it hasn't even wanted us wanted to let us ride it ever since we came down to Area Zero. And it can't enter its battle form in the first place. But it's really strong. I know it is. It ate all those Herba Mystica we found too. When it really matters, I'm sure it'll fight. And Area Zero is where it used to live. If you bring it out of its ball now, maybe it'll be able to find its family too, right? That's pretty sensible by your standards, Arvin. Hmm, I don't know. Go on, Jojo. Let me ride on out. Should I? I mean, couldn't help hurt to give it a try? You okay, buddy? Agia? All right. Come on, Jojo. Now that we've got Mariah on ready, it's time to open that gate. I kind of feel bad for Maridon. I hope he's not too scared. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's like a double... A double lock. Oh! Oh, it's literally a second Maridon. I thought maybe... Okay. The family reunion! It's happening! <laughs> Does this look like a reunion to you? It's intense music playing. Oh, it's scared. Gah. Oh, he's so scared. No! No, he's sad! No, something's not right. Oh my god. Oh, he's scared. He's scared. Oh, right on scared. No. Guy knows. Oh, what's wrong? Are you bummed that your heartwarming family reunion got cut off so quickly? No, Mona. <laughs> Please read the room. <laughs> Are you joking? <laughs> There was nothing heartwarming about it! We were this close to getting caught up in a nasty brawl! Wait, for real? Just look at Maridon! Poor thing's terrified! Guess that other one isn't exactly its pal. Yeah, that other Pokémon was giving off some real bad vibes. Uh, not that you should worry a thing about any of that. Once we get you back into your battle form, I'm sure you'll be going toe-to-toe -to -toe against that jerk. If, you know... If you want to. Please. Sorry, guess that doesn't really help, huh? Do you think that other Maridon was one of the dangerous Pokemon the professor warned us about? Warned us to watch out for? But didn't the professor say the dangerous Pokemon would come out from the inside? You mean from inside the gate we just uh <laughs> God. Rumble rumble rumble. Oh my god. What the? 
the pacing the story pacing in this area so far has been super spot on i really like it oh my gosh there's so many of them we're surrounded and it's pretty obvious they're not here to roll out a friendly welcome mat there's no way we can handle this many and don't tell me they're all future pokemon we've got a little disaster on our hands here Please. Look, even that fellow's ready to bail. Then I guess it's my turn. I've been waiting. Come on, Jojo, let's do this together. <laughs> Nomono's like so not phased. I guess she's kind of cool in when it counts, you know? She's like super emotionally like not getting anything, but then she's just like, all right, let me handle this. I love this. I love this so far. Good thing everyone's weak to fire. Everybody's metal. Okay. All right, one down. Wow, they're strong. Now this is a worthwhile challenge. I'm glad you're on our side, but you're still really annoying when you say stuff like that. Bobby! Barkum! Yo, why are they coming at me? Jojo, help me out here. Ooh. I wonder why all the Pokemon are... Like, how far in the future are we talking? <laughs> why are they all metal? Maybe all life on Earth has been decimated. There's no carbon-based life forms anymore. About me. If you remember right from the deck entries, it's far. Okay, that makes sense. This reminds me a little bit of, um... Oh, wait, hold on, there's dialogue. Good, the future must be terrifying. Agias! Oh yeah, get him right on. Good boy. Oh no, they're running away. Yeah, and? If those Pokemon get out, we're gonna have a gigantic mess on our hands. We've gotta go after them, Penny. Why me? Wait! Ha! Ha! Good! Hold on, Nimona! Why do I get the feeling you're enjoying all this? Oh, bye! I hope the two of them can handle their part. But at least the crowds have been thinned out now. Guess it's up to us to deal with what's left. Let's go for the strong-looking one first. Is this a... F Iron Jugulus. Jugulus. Jugulus? Are you also steel type? What the heck is a Jugulus? I don't know. Go for the Jugulus. Okay, apparently it's not steel type. Oh! Oh. Dark, I guess? He's weak to uh, play rough. See, the power of friendship had us perfectly in sync. All thanks to our titan hunting together. Still scared, huh? You worried you might have to face that other one of your kind? Well then, let me take on some of the burden. These stragglers should be nothing. Me and my boss stuff here can take them. Barf. So Jojo, you take your partner there and go take care of business. Got it. Heh, <laughs> glad to see you've got some faith in us at last. My, my boss if can't wait to battle either. Wow, oh, wow. Whoa, with big mouth. Maridon. You really ruined my whole childhood, you know. It wasn't his fault. <laughs> but it's not like seeing you cowering and scared out of your wits makes me feel better, any better about it. You've got amazing powers, if you just use them. And you've got us, too. So, so, so don't you even think about lo losing to that jerk. 
Be brave. Stand up and fight. Aw, Arvin. How are you doing? Go, Jojo. We'll follow as soon as we can. Bar -bar -bar. Oh, I can't talk to my boss, Steph. Okay. Did I save? Yeah, I can save. Oh, will my ride on come out now? Oh, he does not. Arvin here having a sooner rivalry with warrior Pokemon instead of you. Yeah, he's had some, like, childhood... I don't know. Something. Whoa, this does not look like the proper door. <gasps> it's the professor! Oh my god, what happened? Human presence detected within the Zero Lab. Oh my goodness. Sir? Yeah, totally normal thing to say. The activating sleep mode. Oh, he's a robot. Oh. Hello, Jojo. Thank you for coming. Rare. Oh, he's got a master ball. No, back to your ball. That one is far less tractable and far more aggressive than the one you've traveled with. Your Maridon fled Area Zero because it lost to the other one in a territorial struggle. I guess. Aw. I'm afraid that there is something for which I must apologize. I'm not the true Professor Churro. <laughs> Then who are you? I'm an artificial intelligence the professor created, imbued with his memories and knowledge. In short, I'm an AI-powered robot. Wow. The real professor passed away during the incident that destroyed research station number four. Oh. He's dead. Don't let him get anywhere near the yard. This is the beginning of the end. Ah! Um... Oh my god, the the real professor's dead? Oh, Arvin's gonna be heartbroken! Oh my god! Passed away? The Pokemon was not to be blamed. It was the original professor who failed to accurately judge its full power. I believe the professor wanted nothing more for the Maridon to survive and thrive. That is why he threw himself in front of your Maridon in an attempt to protect it. From the time I first reached out to Director Clavel and asked to be put in contact with you, I was never more than an AI. Jojo, the reason I asked you to come to me is because I have one last thing to do here at the Zero Lab and I desire your help. In short, I wish for you to put a stop to the time machine the original professor created. Any questions can be addressed as we make our descent. Follow me. Oh my god. Oh my god. The professor's dead. That's real heavy. Holy moly. I'm gonna sleep in the bed. <laughs> it gets better. Okay. I am excited. I'm excited. And apprehensive in like a good way. Can I click on? Various research documents are scattered on the desk. Yeah, like, everything's kind of in disuse, huh? Hang on, there's something written here. In order to better defend the P Zero Lab, I've developed what I call the Pokeball Lock System. Once it has specified IDs... When it, once it has identified IDs associated with specific Pokeballs, it can... The rest of it is too faded to make out. Any other... Nuggets? Lore nuggets? Confusing equations and phrases... Microscope and various samples. Oh. There's like no music in here too, which is scary. Booster energy. Rock like clump. Also rock like clump. Okay, I guess let's go. 
This elevator will take us down to the lower level. Step inside. What happened to the mom? Because in the journal entry it said she was like, she like left. So she must have left before the incident, right? So hopefully she's also not dead. Jojo, it truly is a great relief to me that you came. I'll answer any questions you may have. Is there anything you wish to know? <gasps> what is an AI? Hope you enjoy finishing the game, going to sleep. All right, thank you, Greg. Have a good night. Thanks for stopping by. An AI is an artificial intelligence created by a human being. Computer draws on the original professor's knowledge and memories to calculate all my thoughts and actions. Oh. The results of those calculations are expressed by this mechanical body built to resemble the professor in every way. Humanity does not, in fact, possess the knowledge to develop such a sophisticated AI at present. Well, the crystals that make up the Zero Lab have made such a thing possible here. Uh, there are also why I cannot leave this place. Oh, yeah, because that would mess up, like, the flow of time. Or, I mean, like... The AI turtle is like using, I guess, future technology. It'd be like morally wrong to bring it up, like bring it up to the surface, I guess. What happened to the real professor? As I explained to you before, the original professor no longer exists. During the destruction of the research station, his physical body received grievous injuries that left it unable to sustain life. I'm afraid that this fact may be difficult for his son, Arvin, to accept. I now manage the Zero Lab in the original professor's place. Is there anything else you wish to ask? What is a time machine? The time machine is a device that the original professor and I worked on together. It sends Pokeballs to, different, to a different point on the timeline to catch Pokemon there, and it can then draw them back here to the present. When he was alive, Professor Turo had a great fascination with Pokemon from another age, what you might call future Pokemon. Even as we speak, the time machine continues to automatically draw future Pokemon to this time. What is it you really want? The original professor had a dream of a world in which future Pokemon might live alongside present day Har Pokemon in harmony. That seems not, not like a good idea. <laughs> but these Pokemon have gained a strange power due, the, due to their adaptations in the distant future. And this power has proved too terrible. Their very existence brings destruction to the ecological balance of this current age. Oh, who would have thunk? Oh, who could have predicted this? The original professor would say that such destruction is a natural part of life. What? Arvin, your dad was weird. At present, the bear around Area Zero is still working to keep the future Pokemon from escaping into the rest of Paldea. But we've begun to see Pokemon appear that can break the barrier, such as Iron Treads. Eventually, they will break free of this walled garden known as Area Zero and run rampant across the Paldea region. And when they do, the rich and varied ecosystem of Paldea will be trampled beneath their coming. I may have been created as a copy of the Professor, and yet I cannot seem to find the logic in allowing such a tragedy to occur. But any hope of preventing it would require overcoming the greatest AI that the original Profi professor ever devised. Jojo, you have become a formidable trainer. Now use that strength you have gained to destroy the dream Turo once cherished. Okay. Uh-huh. I appreciate your willingness to help. We have reached the lowest level. Am I going to have to kill him? <laughs> I hope not. But he can't leave. Like, th like, there's no path other than death for him. What in the... Behold. This is the time machine we perfected using the power of terrestrial phenomenon. I like that this sort of flips the script on the usual AI determines destruction is necessary plot and makes human the one pushing the boundaries. Yeah, it's very interesting. Very interesting. Especially because the AI in this case is sort of a, a copy of the human. So it's sort of like a mirror of like the the 
you know the conflict the inner conflict that the the real professor might, might have had interesting to stop the time machine you will need to use the professor's id which has been embedded within the vital book it is very like the professor to put the final key we would need in that book of all places loved that volume since childhood if you place the violet book upon the pedestal here you will be able to stop the time machine so many reflective services this is where all the this is where all the rendering power for pokemon violet and scarlet go it's this room <laughs> there's just one issue if you try to stop the machine i will most likely attack you oh i'm gonna have to kill a man Artificial being that I am, my own desires can be overridden by the system's programming. Once that happens, I'm afraid I will become no more than a battle machine, bound to defeat anyone identified as an obstacle by my code. My battling abilities are peerless. They are built upon analysis of all the battles carried out by various champions of the Paldea region. Having seen the bond between you and your Pokémon, however, I believe you can prevail. Once you've readied yourself for this fight, Please place the violet book upon the pedestal. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to kill him. I have to kill this man. One, only one of us will leave this place alive. Yes. ID confirmed. Professor Turo, access granted. Initiating emergency shutdown. Please wait. Please wait. Access denied. Shutdown command overridden. Reinitializing. It's up to you now, Jojo. Hey, Aturo switching to sleep mode. Activating offensive protocols. Oh, please defeat me. Oh, oh, this is so cool. <laughs> oh my god. At, at last. At last, my dream is within reach. And you're not getting in the way. <gasps> oh my gosh, his eyes. Eritura has initiated a battle? Oh my god. Iron Moth. Whoa, this is so cool! I don't know who you think you are, but I'm not about to let anyone get in the way of my goals. This music is so good. Holy cow. Paralyzed? Uh-oh. This is the power the distant future holds. Splendid, isn't it? So this is kind of representative of what the the deceased, the real Professor Turo was kind of feeling, I guess. Like this is like uh, maybe a darker, exaggerated version of of what was in his mind. It's like his ambition taken to the extreme. Yeah. Oh god. Oh, broke the pro- Oh, Elmanzano, you're so good. Okay, apparently this thing is not weak to... To... Whatever, but let's try bite. Discharge? Oh, it's electric. Oh! I should change. Should I change? I don't know. I'm scared. I should heal. I'm gonna heal. Good thing I bought a lot of items for my, uh, boss rush. Boss rush stream. Oh! Stop! Oh, stop! You silly little moth. Not very effective. Oh, it was not very effective. See, I, I have a hard time paying attention to battle when I'm, uh... What is an Iron Thorns? Uh... 
iron thorns. That sounds kind of grass-like, maybe? So, uh... So, maybe I'll, I'll keep Almanzana out, even though it's gonna die. Oh gosh, she has, like, all Master Balls. That's insane. What is that? Okay, let's heal up first. It's gonna max potion you. I'm scared. I'm so scared. Stone. Oh. Okay. Let's switch to, uh... Palafin. It's definitely not Godzilla. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this music is so good! Wow. Oh, Palafin! Flip turn, flip turn! Okay, it's super effective. Okay, great. This seems to be like a rock type or something. Now this is interesting. Child, do you actually understand future Pokemon's weaknesses? This might be one of the Toby Fox tracks? Really? Cool! So cool. Yeah, I'll have to look it up later. Not very effective. He did at least one of the area zero ones. Oh, amazing. Energy ball? Perhaps? Oh, super effective. Okay. Whew. Iron Jugulus. Oh, we saw this just now. Uh, it was it was weak to fairy, I remember. It was weak to fairy, I think. Oh gosh, his hair is like all like like flying up and like twisted. The man has so many master balls, I know. Do you imagine you can best the wealth of data at my disposal with your human brain? Ah, <laughs> uh, so this is the reason why they had, like, Pokemon wandering around. So we could, like, Get a, get a feel for the, the effects and stuff. Iron Hands? Which one is Iron Hands? I don't think we know what that is. I guess I'll just keep Sylveon out. Oh, it's this one. Uh, I think this one was weak to fire, actually. Oh, but Moon Blast is also super effective. Lucky! Sorry, Sylveon. Uh, I think... I think fire was effective against it, if I remember correctly. Oh, it said right there, and I wasn't looking. I'm a fool. Oh, it's just normal effective. Oh, it's fine. Oh! Is he gonna terrestrialize at the end? Can these future Pokemon terrestrialize? Iron Bundle. Iron Bundle. Which one is Iron Bundle? Oh, that was Delibird. Ah, uh, frick. I, I think fire was effective. Okay, it was just normal effective, I guess. Started to snow. Great. Ooh. Oh god, its head comes off. That's so disturbing. Iron Valiant. Valiant? Is that like Braviary, maybe? Keep Elmans on out. Everything is proceeding within my expectations. I'm afraid the probability of you winning is zero. Is this the last Pokemon? Oh my gosh, it's Gallade. Uh, booster energy. Quark drive. What is this? Attack was heightened. Uh, 
Uh, Betty Jo and the Vengeance. The relatives from the future. It's so cool looking though. It's very cool looking. Psycho cut. I feel nothing. I kind of. This actually puts the. Ooh, one shotted. Huh. Sorry. Didn't even get to see it do a cool move. I impossible. Impossible. Wow. What a cool battle. I kind of feel like the designs for like Tinka Tink and like, um, I forget what that one was called, the Mega Man looking one, kind of make more sense actually, N knowing what we know now about the future Pokemon. Like you can, like, I don't know, like they look kind of robot-y. Jojo! Oh my gosh, Arvin. Oh, I'm so sorry. What is this? Did you already beat all the baddies without me? No, Mona, <laughs> please. Okay, out with it, you. Who are you, really? Th thank you for everything. The time machine has finally... He has finally been stopped. You're really not my dad, are you? Oh, look how big you've grown. So proud of you, Ma. Sorry, you were alone so long, Arvin. D Dad? Security system failure. Security system failure. Threat to time machine detected. Threat to time machine detected. Whoa, what's going on now? Is another army of Pokemon on its way here? It, it cannot be. Oh my god. <laughs> An obstacle is preventing the time machine from performing as intended. Activating paradise protection protocol to remove the offending obstacle. What? was keeping the time machine running truly all the professor cared about. Locking all Pokeballs except those registered to Turo's ID. Wait, what? Program initializing, gathering terrestrial energy. I'm sorry, children. This is too much for you. You must run. AI Turo disabled. Paradise Protection Protocol initialized. Huh? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, he's gonna battle us again. You are not getting in my way. <gasps> oh, the, the, oh, the screen's getting all glitchy and stuff. Challenge my Paradise Protection Protocol. Oh my god, this is so cool. Oh, it's it's the aggressive Maridon. <gasps> I have to use my Maridon. It's the only one. <gasps> the Guardian of Paradise. What a badass title for a Pokemon. You can't battle without a Pokemon on the field. It's true. Our Pokeballs won't work. How are we even supposed to battle? I have to use Maridon. I have to use Maridon. Oh my god, I've never- wait, would you- am I- was I able to do this all the, all along? <laughs> oh my god, that's- yeah, make sure you use the UI- oh, I wasn't able to do this. That's amazing. This is so cool. <gasps> right on, you're the only one that can help us now. Oh! Please, you gotta help us. Be brave! Be brave, little guy! He's being so brave! Look at him! 
He's transforming like Sailor Moon! Yay! <sighs> He's a magical girl. Yeah, exactly! With the power of friendship. He's gonna protect his friends. Grog, grog. Had Hadron engine. Electric train energizing its futuristic engine. Okay. Also my futuristic engine. Okay. Oh. Oh my god. Okay, what do these do? Power gem. User attacks a rail light that sparkles as if it were made of gemstone. Electro drift. User races forward at ultra fast speeds, piercing its target with futuristic electricity. Boost power is boosted more than normal if it's a super effective hit. Wait, what? Um, what type am I? Electric dragon. Okay. Endure. Endures any attack with at least one HP. The moves chance of failing rises using. Oh, whoops. I meant to look at it, but oh well. Spell for the taunt. Use Terra Blast. What did that do? I didn't look at the summary. It changed into its battle form! Let's go, Maridon! You got this! What does this do? 800. If the user has terrestrialized, it unleashes its energy of its Terra type. Okay. But I have not done that, so. You will fall here within this garden paradise and achieve nothing in the end. Holy moly! Oh, what a dark thing to say. Why wouldn't I use this? You will- you will not be allowed to destroy my paradise. Obstacles to my goals will be eliminated. Oh, we're copying each other. Special defense rose. Oh, look at that! Animation. Oh, it's not very effective. Okay. Ah, uh, because it's electric. Shook off the taunt. Okay. This looks like it could be bad. Uh, hang in there, Jojo! Um, should I heal? <laughs> Is that like a... a signal to heal? The day to say I'm the superior fall and become a foundation upon which my dream will be built. Oh, Hyper Beam. Ow, ow, oh my god. Oh, Maridon! <laughs> god. You took that hit like a champ! You can do this! I know you can! Oh, I feel so bad for Arvid. When is he gonna find out? Uh, max HP. That was very scary. God, I'm like gripping my controller like... <laughs> I need to, my hand hurts. I need to calm down. Oh man, can we really not pull off a win here? This doesn't look good. Mona, no, Mona, be quiet. Hey, Jojo, your tarot orb's glowing. Jojo, Maridon, terrestrialize and finish this off! Stop yelling at me like I'm your Pokemon. Okay, everything's powering up. Okay, let's terrestrialize. Dragon, Terra Blast. Dragon is strong against dragon, right? I think. Oh, the dragon one looks cool. <laughs> He's got double dragon heads. Okay, get ready to get decimated, other Maridon. The guardian of paradise. Bam! <gasps> Maridon, you're so cool! Yay! My Maridon's the best. You suck, other Maridon. A crystallized evil Toro is kind of cool looking. I defeated the Paradise Protection Protocol! 
Computers drool. Humans rule. Loading. You did it! it it's not going berserk anymore? How? How very astounding. To think that you would manage to defy even the original professor's final protections. Are you back to normal? Yes. Completely unforeseen outcome, even for an AI possessing the most sophisticated technology ever conceived. Even on the brink of despair, you children did not give in and instead proved your worthiness, showing the wisdom to think for yourselves, the courage to hold faith in your friends, and the fortitude to do what had to be done. No matter how challenging of a future may await you, I believe you'll be capable of walking whatever paths you choose for yourselves now with pride. I thank you, Jojo. Thank all of you, children. But I'm afraid that the time machine cannot be put to a complete stop so long as I am here. Oh God, he's gonna die. It appears I myself am part of the system that ensures the machine reboots when stopped. Huh? What does that mean? I'm sorry. You know, when I was watching you all on your adventures from down here, I felt a sense of jealousy. I envied you your freedom. The way that you came together, working in league with your fellows and caring for them. The way that you sought strength and to better yourself, throwing all you, all you are into your battles. The way that you would face down even the greatest enemies to save that which you loved. The way that you never ceased to seek, nor to fight for, a treasure all your own. Aggie Aggie. Ah, and the, oh, he wants a comment too. <laughs> Ah, uh, and the very way that you soared free through the very skies on those wings of yours. I wish that I, too, might as might be as free as you all, free to seek out that which I might treasure above all else, not bound. Your own treasure. As long as I remain here, the time machine will not stop, for I am inextricably connected to it. So I've made a decision. I'll use the time machine to journey to the world of the future that I've dreamed of. <gasps> oh, good. He's not going to die. <laughs> what? You can't just leave now. Right when we finally reached you. I'm not going only so that the time machine can be stopped. I also cannot deny my desire to see that future world for myself. Is this what it feels like to have your heart race with the thrill of adventure? Arvin, I'm sorry that I kept the truth from you for so long. I inherited all the thoughts and wishes of the professor, and so I understand better than any. Your father truly loved you. You... you can't... You can't just go and say a thing like that now. No? I uh, suppose you're right. I am sorry. Arvin, Maradon, Jojo. It is a little sad, but I'm afraid this is goodbye. Dad. Oh my god. Cousin, farewell, my free adventurers. I bid you adieu. <laughs> Where's he going? Gone. How could you just go, Dad? Arvin, you okay, bud? Yeah, somewhere deep down, I kind of already knew it. I knew that thing was fake. But it, when it said my name, using his voice and wearing his face, even if it was fake, it felt real, you know? And so I just, I, sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. That's, 
That's okay. Yes! Oh, my ride on. You and your one-liners. Oh, he's sad. I guess Mariadon is sad too. Oh, but that battle form! How cool is that? It's so strong! If it tries to nudge at me for a belly rub like while it's huge like this, I seriously think I'm going to die. Hey now, let's not skip over the big win here. Jojo and Mariadon just saved all of Paldea! Also, Arvin's dad is dead! Who cares? <laughs> Th that's right. You both did amazing. Thanks, Jojo. Yeah, that's my bud Jojo for you. Oh, oh my god. You know, Arvin, um, even though the professor's gone, I bet he's finally having a real fun adventure of his own in the future. Yeah. Thanks, Penny. Um, yeah, sorry. What should we do now, Jojo? Let's go home. You said it. Come on, everyone. Let's make our way home. That's so sad, though, to say that to Arvin, I guess. His home is to, like, nobody. He has no parents. <laughs> oh. oh, man. He came here, like, looking for his parent now. No, he told us he can't leave Area Zero because he needs the crystals. I know. Like, I was thinking that, like, during that whole thing, I think he's actually... And he's all, like, bugging out and stuff. I think he's just wanted to die, like, somewhere out of sight. You know? It's like, he's, he's like, oh, I'm going to go have an adventure. But I, I think he basically gave himself a death sentence to stop the time machine. Look at them. Okay, everybody listen up. What is it? Let's take the long road home and get a little more fun out of this adventure. Oh yeah, fun. This was fun, Nimona. I don't really... Sounds great. If we can load up on snacks first, I'm in. Let's leave the depressed kid behind. Hey, Jojo, not you too. Oh, oh, all right, fine. I guess we're doing this. All right, I'm so cute. <gasps> uh... Pan up into the sky. Is this the end? You see tonight, it could go. <gasps> it's the end. Wait, what is this song? I gotta turn up the volume. Oh, what is it? It's the, oh, man. Wow, good plot indeed. I agree. Wow. What a good game. I caught... I didn't quite tear up, but I, I was gonna... It was almost there. <laughs> oh, I remember seeing the trailer for this song. I didn't realize that the, um, or the music video for the song. I didn't realize this was the, like, this was for Scarlet and Violet. Oh, man. Oh, man. Wow. They did a good job. I'm, like, really, um... They did a good job with Arvin's storyline. Like I, there was some, there was a lot of dark stuff, but I feel like they, they struck a good balance between not glossing over it too much, and not making it too overly like emotionally heavy. Because I, I, I think that would have been like really out of place for Pokemon. But they, they, they did a good job, kind of like implying things, you know, like not just like they didn't, they didn't hide it, but they didn't like you know, make it, like, really in your face either. So you kind of, like, if you're paying attention, you pick up on it. And if you're not paying attention, then, you know, you're just enjoying a cool, like, final battle or whatever. So they, they did a really good job with the, the writing. 
and like you can kind of there's a little bit of plausible deniability then you're Nimona yeah you could be a Nimona or you could be a Penny <laughs> you know um, and then there's there's that plausible deniability like oh he's gonna go on adventure don't worry children you know if you're like a like a 10 year old kid playing they're just like oh great I defeated a guy and now he's gonna go off on his own adventure yay happy ending for everyone and like of course they're, you're you know you're sad when your friend goes on a trip right but it's fine they're definitely alive <laughs> There's some stuff that doesn't add up. Like, why was the robot locked down there? It kind of makes me feel like maybe part of the AI went, went rogue and attacked her. Oh, no, I don't want to think about that as a possibility. That's even more sad. I I think he mentioned something about that, how he couldn't leave because, like, he's using, like, the future technology. And for the same reason, they didn't want to let the future Pokemon out. Like, they couldn't let the, let the AI out either. And the vibe you get is the AI has backups that force it to always come back to the time machine. Yeah, it, it seemed like that it was like at the end it was saying it's tied to the time machine. So it leaving would also be very bad for the time machine working. So there's kind of like a something like a duty holding him back. As long as he's down there, he can sort of think for himself. Yeah, I, I think that's kind of what I was getting out of what was going on. Yeah. Wow. Like, I did not think, like, I had no thoughts or feelings about Turo at all for this whole game until this last, like, hour. And now I'm like, I'm an AI Turo fan. <laughs> what a cool guy. <laughs> Wait, so, so the real Turo died. The Oh my god. Okay, so the real Turo died before he brought back Maridon up to the surface to see Arvin. So Arvin, who had been separated from his parent for a long time, finally got to, was living with his father for a little while. But that guy was the fake Toro. So even as a kid, as it, like during his childhood, Arvin was, Arvin was like living with that, with, with the, the robot Toro. Anytime that Arvin saw him before this, he was the human one. No, because, um... Oh, really? Okay. Okay, okay. So he died after... He died after coming back from visiting Arvin. Right, right, right. The first Maridon was docile. Then they... He came up to visit Arvin. There was the Maridon, the, the, the gentle one. And then he went back down. There was a second Maridon. And that Miranda. Oh, look at this group picture. Oh, so sweet. Look at this. He died when the second one was brought back. Yes. Okay. 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 Ooh, I was going to be like, that's even more sad. But uh, thankfully, Arvin had some quality time with his dad. <laughs> ding dong, ding dong. Ding dong, dong ding. Calling students to the director's office. Miss Jojo, Miss Nimona, Master Arvin, and Miss Penny. Director Clavel would like to see you in his office. Dong ding, ding dong. Oh my god, let's save. Holy. If I select Mariadon when the main menu is open, you can now have it change between its battle form and its ride form. Oh, cool. So cool. Let's go to the director's office. Ha, huh, look like, looks like the hero's finally here. Would you like to join us, Miss Jojo? For what? Drinking party? We're in for an earful, aren't we? Guess we'll find out soon enough. No need for concern, you two. I'm not angry in the slightest. I merely called you all here to discuss your fine achievements in this year's treasure hunt. You shut down the professor's time machine and thus prevented the Pokemon from the future from running rampant across Paldea. I feel like there should have been some kind of government investigation into something like this once it came to light, no? <laughs> Instead of like, oh, the school will take care of it. Your actions were truly outstanding in every regard, and I couldn't be prouder of you all. Though your decision to enter a strictly off-limits area was admittedly regrettable. Also, hey, everyone's still using terror orbs without knowing what they are, huh? Yep. 
dangerous tech. Yeah, I, I saw this on Twitter a while back, actually, but um, somebody pointing out that whenever people use the Terra orbs, like the animation when like gym leaders and other characters use Terra orbs, they kind of like grimace a little bit. Like they're sort of like, you know, it hurts. Um, so there's some, some things happening. Heh, <laughs> you got us there. However, since this was necessary to protect Paldea and its precious ecosystems, I'm willing to overlook that particular point. Phew, so we're not getting raked over the coals after all. Oh, before I forget, Miss Jojo, there's something I would like you to have. Each of your friends has received one already, so this is this one is for you. I got a Master Ball! Put the Master Ball in my bag's Pokeball's pocket. Oh, and about the Hall of Fame badge I gave you a short while ago, that gift is one we bestow only upon students who achieve truly remarkable feats. I expect you to honor what that badge represents by striving always to serve as a model for your fellow students. Clavel, you just have four of those? <laughs> the power of science is amazing. I guess I'll try. You can count on me. Splendid. Such enthusiasm will surely take you far in life. And Master Arvin, I was so sorry to hear about the professor. You have my deepest condolences. Uh, well... Yeah, it was pretty rough when I found out my dad had died. But weirdly enough, my head actually feels clear now, for the first time in ages. In The Great Crater, I got to learn a bit about my dad's research and what he was trying to achieve down there. I guess if you're building something as, as mind-blowing as a time machine, that takes priority over showering your son with attention, huh? That is not the lesson I feel like we should take away from this, Armin! All I know is I'm done feeling like lo some lost little kid. Done. Time to say goodbye and move on. I'm gonna enjoy every last day to graduation with my buds here. And my boss dev, of course. Well said, Master Arvin. You truly are your father's son. You truly are your neglectful father's son. Of course, I must remind you that you're nowhere near enough credits to graduate. You'll need to study frantically to catch up, but I have every expectation of your success. What? Oh, <laughs> Arvin. And let us not forget the other good news. Our academy has a new champion. Though we sadly cannot make your valiant deeds in the great crater known to the public, your new champion rank, at least, should be celebrated throughout the whole school. Ooh, I know how we should celebrate. We should hold a Pokemon battle contest. Seriously, could we not? Classic Namona. A Pokemon battle contest, you say? While your own vested interests in such a venture are more than apparent, Miss Namona, I think it's a fine idea, but please understand that a large-scale event will be quite beyond us. We have many other school activities to keep an eye on, after all. Arvin's too busy living that picnic life, yeah. <laughs> Enjoying the good life. Like school, what school? Everybody's skipping school in this game, so I'm sure he's not the only one. Who's this? Pardon my intrusion, I couldn't help but over here. Oh, it's the, it's the uh, Gita. The Pokemon League will, of course, happily lend a hand in organizing this contest. La Primera? Well, well, a most kind offer, Chairwoman Gita. I do everything in my power to nurture young up-and-coming talent. Though that's not to say only the youth have promise when it comes to Pokemon battles. A former gym leader, the developer of the Poke Pokedex app, the Academy clearly counts many skilled trainers of Pokemon among its staff. As such, my suggestion is as follows. Students and staff should com compete for the title of strongest trainer at the Academy. <laughs> Were you just listening at the door? She's like, okay, now's my chance to come in at the right time, now! Whoa, we get to battle the teachers! You'd compete too, right, Primera? She's not a teacher, Nimona! <laughs> She's not the staff! Is that even allowed? The chairwoman's not part of the academy, right? Actually, I think she's the chairwoman of the school board as well as of the Pokemon League. Wait, for real? I mean, I knew she was on another level, but wow. Thank you for the invitation, champion Nimona. I would, I would gladly take up your kind offer to compete alongside you all, but I'm afraid my schedule is already packed tight with work I simply must attend to. Aw, can't you free up some time somehow? Well, I suppose I may be able to participate if Champion Jojo would agree to lend me a hand with my work. 
I can't ref I can't say no? What if I don't want to help you with your work? Uh, okay. Excellent answer. Much obliged, Champion Jojo. To get straight to it, I would like you to go out and inspect Paldea's various gyms in my stead. Are they fulfilling their duties as beacons of strength and inspiration for all those aiming to achieve champion rank? Or has their brilliance started to fade? Oh gosh, the most stressful employee evaluation ever. To find this out, I ask that you bring your full might as champion to bear against each of the gym leaders and test their prowess in battle. You want to make choices in an RPG? <laughs> I do! I want to live out my fantasy of not saying yes to things because I'm scared to say no. Hey kid, you wanna handle quarterly reviews for me? I don't wanna. Yeah, that's exactly what's happening. They're all trainers of exceptional talent, handpicked by me personally. I do not expect you'll find any cracks in their armor, but well, consider it a formality. This will also provide the perfect stage for your first appearance as a new champion. Since all the gym leaders will still be expecting me to carry out the inspection, I imagine they'll have mustered their full strength. Oh, so this is a surprise inspection, okay. I dare say they might be more of a challenge than when you faced them before. You get to have all out battles with the gym leaders? Man, I'm jealous. Now then, on to another crucial matter. I'd like to discuss with Penny how to patch the weaknesses in our league point system. Uh, <laughs> um... Penny? Penny, my girl, you are, you and me, we're on the same wavelength. Yes, like this is the answer I wanted to say. <laughs> um, but there's a bunch of anime I've missed that I was just gonna binge. Thank you in advance for your willing and eager cooperation. Yeah, I mean, I'll do it. I'll help. Let me help. Excellent. We'll leave you all to it then. Come now, Penny. Oh, poor Penny. <laughs> this is awesome, Jojo. Show this inspection thing who's boss so that live premiere can join our tournament, okay? And enjoy taking another swing at the gym gauntlet while you're at it. I'll take care of filling out the forms and other administrative stuff so the ball gets rolling on the tournament in the meantime. The grubbly scribble, I know, she's so cute. I say, it's wonderful to see you all showing such initiative. You each have a critical role to play. Penny assisting the league, our new champion inspecting gyms, Nimona arranging the event, Arvin. Getting therapy, maybe? Arvin's not included. <laughs> Give it your best, everyone. This is delegation via bullying. Guess my rule so obvious it goes without saying. Oh, Arvin. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay. So it looks like there's some post-game stuff. I, I like, you know, hard versions of the gym and stuff like that, but I, I don't think I'm going to do them on stream. I think uh, now that I finished the main story, I think um, I think I'll end streaming this game, but um, and I will enjoy it off stream. Try to catch some guys and I don't know, figure out raids and stuff. But um, that was that was a really fun ride. I enjoyed this game a lot. Like I like I always I always enjoy Pokemon games, but this one was like on another level, I feel like, story-wise. This was really, really good. Just the the cinematicness of like the final battles and the final area and the like slow kind of building up of the the mystery. And and it didn't seem like it came out of nowhere either. It was sort of like hinted at all this time. Best Pokemon plot in a while. Yeah, I super agree. This was really good. Uh, like, wow, just great job to the, the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet dev team. Like, this is just, I, I feel like, I know a lot of people like to complain about the, you know, like, jankiness of the gameplay and stuff, but, like, overall, it's, it's a fun experience, and the characters are great, the story is great, the, like, running around a world is great. Now, please, God, just release a performance patch of the DLC. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. I'm, I'm sure they're they are well aware. I'm sure of the complaints. I'm sure they're trying to figure out what they can do if they can. Uh, it definitely has me hopeful that they continue to iterate on this in the future. Yeah, me too. I, I feel like they they took some risks with the style of this game, and I think that, I think it paid off. They did a really good job. 
Just, just a really great experience. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for the DLC. I, I'm curious what's gonna happen. We, we've seen the, um, I'm trying to remember what we've seen with the DLC so far. I think we've seen some characters show up. Like, like, we know what the DLC characters are gonna look like. I think, if I remember correctly. But yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I, I'm gonna be really excited to, to play the DLC when it comes out. The key art for the setting and some character. Yes. Yes. And the legendaries. Um, oh yeah, I have to catch a legendary, huh? I have the Master Ball now, but, um, did I save already? This is the eternal Pokemon thing. Um, okay. My voice is going because I feel like there was a lot of dialogue in this stream and I was reading a lot of things. <laughs> oh, and Ryforce stuff too. Yeah, I need to do that. But I'll probably do that off stream. Um, and enjoy that in, in free time. Okay. Wow. Thanks for joining me on this ride. I, uh, we finished another game. Yay. Uh, this was really great. I'm glad I got to share this with, with people. It was fun reacting and, and seeing people's, uh, seeing people enjoy it along, along together with me. So thank you for joining me. Uh, we'll end it here. Uh, I'm going to go drink some water. Um, and and try to not talk for a while <laughs> there's so much dialogue in this last hour um but yeah thanks for coming yeah i'm glad i'm glad it was fun thank you so much all right have a good night everybody bye bye goodbye